Guys, it's time to power up the Bronco. I'm using a Hobbywing Fusion 1800 KV and a Traxxas 2250 Servo. Uh, both of these are used, been in several different vehicles. They both work fine and should be plenty for anything I'm gonna do with the Bronco. Take a look. In case you're unfamiliar with the Hobbywing Fusion, the ESC is built into the motor and it's tunable by Bluetooth on your phone. Uh, yeah, like I say, I've already used this and it's really, really good and it's quiet. I've had the servo in several trucks and you know what? It seems to be adequate. It should be more than enough for what I'm gonna do with the Bronco. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this stuff put in and see how it does. Well guys, this is coming out. Now, one more thing, I, I wanted a Hobbywing system in this just because, you know, quietness and smoothness. I have the 2700 and the 3300 KV versions but this is the only one with a small 3.17 millimeter shaft. So I can just simply put the stock pinion gear right onto this and everything should stay nice and quiet, not only with the motor, but also with the drive line. Should not have any issues at all. Got the Fusion in there, everything is set up. Now, I did mention earlier that you can connect to a Bluetooth. No, I was wrong about that. It's been a while since I messed with this, but you have to connect right there. And I was using one of these, which you get with a 1080. Now, if you're going to use that, you have to use the chart of the for the Fusion. Um, the numbers may not correlate directly with what's on here. So with that, I was able to center up the servo. So now I can start messing with the stock servo. And there's something I want you guys to see. Um, and I overlooked this when I first messed with the truck. But Traxxas finally went to a metal servo horn on here. So that's actually a really nice thing, which means I can just simply reuse that horn. So, okay, let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, let's go ahead and power this thing up. Now this is, I did set the BEC at six volts because of all of that stuff. Let's go ahead and power this thing up. Now the servo is good for more, but just have to let it run at six volts. Whoa. I haven't heard a loud servo like that in a while. Um, okay, but everything is here. Got everything set back up. Wow. That Fusion has some really good low end control. So the direction's correct. Transmission is doing its thing right. All right, those are working correctly. Everything looks good. So I get to go ahead and uh, uh, seal this up, mount this, and we're ready to take this thing outside. First gear of that stock system. There we go. Second gear with that stock system. Not bad. With the fusion system in, here's first gear. Still pretty darn slow, I mean it's only 1800 kV. Here's a little two speed, second gear. That's perfect for the trail work and stuff like that. Feels like it's stronger too. <laughs> Woohoo! That's about perfectly scale, isn't it? That's just about enough to break your back. Yeah, that would hurt. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got some back problems after that. <laughs> okay, let's go do some more slower stuff. Before we get to crawling, we got a hill to get up. Look at that. So once we get up that, then we can crawl. Let's see here if I can one-shot this. <laughs> Got it. All right, let's ease on across. Oh, yeah, nice, gentle. Oh, yeah, the discs are still open, by the way, too. Look at that, right there. <laughs> Look, I see rocks. And let's go ahead and get this crawl going. The discs are locked. We are in first gear. Looks like I'm going to be stuck right here, which is a pretty common thing. There we go. 
curious if this servo is going to hold up. I wonder why I never really used it in anything. And it's been used. I think maybe I had it in the rustler. Oh, oh, oh. My thumb hit the second gear. That's not really what you want. Crawling control, way better. Way better. There we go. Now this is a Fusion. It is FOC, Field Oriented Control. I believe is the whole FOC thing. So, and that just kind of keeps the motor, the rotor turning at a steady RPM. So it can adjust the torque a little bit or the, I guess the amperage. If you add volts to it, you probably get a little more uh, RPM out of it. Oh, 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 easy. This is a bad spot to come down into. Right into that bumper. There we go. Let's see what I got right here. Easing across. Now you guys realize this particular line of rocks goes right into the nasty. Um, I am not planning to hit that because this just simply does not have the balance to get that. I believe I tried it one time at some bonus footage and it's just, uh, nah, just not there. So we're going to bypass the nasty and get right into Mr. Giggles. And I'm going to try to bring it down and back up. Got to be careful. It's uh, a little nasty muddy. Let's see if I can bring this down nice and easy. And then once we get down, we're going to take it across and probably just take it uh, probably right back up there. I don't know yet. Let's see what I end up going with here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up, try to turn it without... Oh, God, it's going to barrel roll. Uh, wonder if I can stick this without it rolling. Uh, I'm about, I better get in position. I really want to keep this. Let's see what we got. Now you can hear the servo kind of humming a little bit, but it's not overly bad. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Everything is still okay. That tire is in the air. Look at the crawl on that fusion. Come on, baby, get that hook, get that hook. Doing good, doing good. Now we're about to pitch way up here. So I can get to a better position. I'm kind of also in a position to grab it if I need to. Not bad, pretty darn good. Got a set of tires too for this thing. Kind of mild though. I'll show them to you guys when I wrap this video up. Oh, 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 it almost touched. Oh, no, no. Oh, it touched. <laughs> there we go, look at that. <laughs> Some kind of giant hand just came in and pushed the thing over. Okay, we're gonna try to bash it. No, 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 not bash. Try to get right across the pipes here. The Fusion's got great control. Oh no. I'm gonna drop that off right there and just kind of drag the back. Keep the front end up on it. Looking good. <laughs> I got it. I haven't been on the slide lately and it is uh, looking pretty rough. Let's see what we got here. Nice, gentle. Now the Fusion, just like the other AX systems, they have a great hold on them. As in like, uh, it'll actively power the rotor to hold the brake. Now granted, that is within reason. If you have it geared way too high or possibly in second gear, I think we need to go test that out with this truck. Um, it will give up and roll, but in first gear, it holds really good. See what we got going here. 
They're gonna make the crawl crawl. No, no. Let's see if we get a little bit of a goose. Goose it. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh ho ho. Yep. Got it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and check that drag brake out I was just talking about. This is first gear. So we're gonna ease on up. And there we go. It's just simply holding. Now I'm gonna ease down, put it into second gear, and do the same test. Let's see if it's got enough to hold. There we go, we are in second now. Nope. I can try to hold it, but you know, like with other systems, if you give it a little bit of reverse throttle, or in this case, forward throttle to hold it, um, this one just simply drives. <laughs> there we go, we're in, back in the first, and it holds perfectly. So yeah, you can overgear this and you'll lose that awesome drag brake holding ability. You know, it seems a little bit slower than the stock system, but it's got more power, much better control, and there's less stuff in the chassis to deal with. Um, in the past, I have put this motor in the uh, Sportish, and I had it in second gear on the rocks out of the Barbarian Scaleplex. And um, I had the whole video and everything. I'll see if I can find it and link it down below. Um, I'll try to find that. No guarantees. But um, if I can find that video, I'll put it down below. And I really hammered on this thing in second gear. Not this. And only got 155 degrees in second gear. So that's pretty darn awesome. I, I expect no issues. As far as this truck right here goes, it seems to be perfect for the trail. First gear, you can go ahead and wind it out if you want, slip it into second gear, and you know what? Just cruise. Nice and easy, faster than you're gonna wanna walk. I don't walk that fast. I run even slower. But anyway, um, unless there's a donut in front of me. But anyway, uh, I think the system is good. Steering servo, I didn't even notice it. And sometimes when you don't notice something, that means it's working perfectly. With the stock servo, I noticed that I didn't quite get the steering I was after. This one got the job done. And the crazy thing is, I actually did not have to set any endpoints or anything. Once I got it centered, it went right in. Because setting endpoints on a stock radio is kind of a pain. It really is. You got two buttons, you don't have a screen or anything like that, but they can be set. Absolutely can be. But anyway, guys, hopefully you liked the video. We'll put links to these parts and pieces down in the, the description. I'm uh, going to do some brass. I'm going to try to test out the 10-3 interior, see if that'll fit in here. Uh, so I haven't tested that out. And uh, see if I can get a better balance for this. But I'm not planning to do anything wild with it. Simple, easy, uh, sensible mods, if you will. Anyway, guys, check that description. Use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. And thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.